subscribers welcome back to my channel once again people much love and appreciation as usual so news coming out of trinidad and tobago people is that a well-known pharmacist was shot dead in st james yes you heard that correctly so it goes on to say and i'm getting this from cnc3 well-known pharmacist david samuel rahman has been murdered rahman was shot dead in st james on saturday night and investigators believe that a bar owner may hold the key to cracking the investigation police said preliminary investigations suggest that rahman's murder was a hit allegedly ordered by a bar owner who owes him a huge sum of money you hear that people a bar owner who owes the pharmacist a huge sum of money so look into it now people you as the good samaritan the good person decided all right somebody asked you for money all right yeah me i'm gonna lend you the money i have to pay me back but in return the same person you lend the money ordered a hit on you somebody if you go kill you so them not have to pay you back the money mankind we kidding our people mankind is truly wicked and unbelievable sometimes i tell people out of your goodness of your heart sometimes you want to help people but at the same time you just know nothing to do with it absolutely nothing so once again people i'm gonna read that police said preliminary investigations suggest that rahman's murder was a hit allegedly ordered by a bar owner who owes him a huge sum of money police say he made at least two advances in 2021 to retrieve his money and the person refused to pay up one of the theories that police are currently exploring is that a hit was ordered to avoid the bar owner having to repay the money the bar police said is located in a western part of trinidad rahaman 47 was the owner of the chemist a pharmacy at the west hills housing complex located on morn coco road petite valley police said this was the second time gunmen attacked Rahman. The first attempt was carried out in December while he was at the compound of his business establishment. According to a police report, Rahman was shot several times by gunmen while driving into his home at Hyderabad Street, St. James at 10 p.m. Police said it appeared that he then lost control of his vehicle, which crashed a short distance away. He was taken to the hospital for medical treatment where he died. Rahman is the brother of Andrew Rahman, who is currently the president of the pharmacy board of Trinidad and Tobago. When contacted for comment last evening, Rahman said he was still trying to formulate what has happened and was too distraught to talk so people may i tell you know one kind of wicked you know imagine you yourself lend somebody money and because you know i pay back the person the money you decide say the easiest way to do this i just pay somebody a thousand two thousand dollar and boop you can get rid of the person jaja Jaja people, sometimes you know, me know say at the pharmacy man money, but sometimes people is have to take yourself from certain situation and know where you stand with this person. Sometimes honestly you just have to cut your losses and just move on. Cause some people evil and wicked me not tell a lie. Evil run through them body people. Because how can you as an individual do that to somebody that lend you some money if you do whatever you wanted to do with it and you end up pissed money if you kill the man? Very, very sad situation, people. Very sad situation coming out of Trinidad. 
but people once i get more information i will pass it on to you guys um so i'm gonna read you know, some comments on what people are saying about this you see me one person goes on to say if that is the reason he was killed as my grandmother used to say do borrow if you can't pay but this person misunderstood the article he thought that the pharmacy man borrowed money from the bar owner which is not the case the bar owner borrowed money from the pharmacist the bar owner didn't want to repay the pharmacist his money so the bar owner ordered a hit on the pharmacy sis actually so that's what happened this person read the article and was confused is me he was very very confused he never know what going so another person goes on to say instead of paying a hitman you could have used it as a down payment for your debt if that's the case then again criminals will take a couple hundred end someone's life and that is so correct people some man out there people don't have nothing to lose absolutely nothing so this bar owner can easily go to somebody and say yo i have a hundred dollar i have two hundred dollar yo i want to get rid of somebody and because that person who not living for anybody or anything has nothing to lose oh yeah man of course let me get the two hundred dollar i'm gonna done him i'm gonna shoot him up for you and that's the sad part of society that we live in people another man's life is worth nothing to some people you can kill a man for him own money eh because you don't want to repay him you send somebody to get rid of him very very sad and unfortunate situation people another person goes on to say may he rest in peace this is why you do not lend money nothing comes out of it if that's the actual reason quote unquote this person said that's what the banks are for hopefully they can catch the gunman and the person who put out the hit and this person made a good statement that is what banks are for but sometimes people you don't know the relationship that the bar owner and the pharmacist have because think about it people you as an individual you're not gonna just take up a bunch of money or a, a, a whole of money and just lend somebody that you're not cool or you're not familiar with it has to be somebody that he was cool with somebody that he probably was well known to you see me because it wouldn't make sense people that me take up ten thousand dollar gogi john when me not know john from nowhere you see what i'm trying to say people like you know makes sense so this pharmacist had to know this bar owner from somewhere because this was this pharmacy a, a bank was this pharmacist a bank that him just people know say all right i'm gonna go lend money so any and anybody just go borrow money i doubt that's the case because people work hard for their money and they're not gonna just end up a dash for their money so i get to random people you see me? see me as a people so it's a very sad situation very very sad and unfortunate situation but i truly hope them catch who is responsible for this and may this pharmacist um soul rest in peace so thank you guys once again to tune in to yard and abroad tv much love and appreciation bless up in yourself all right loving the people